hello 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 welcome back to the channel i love selling on macari it just keeps on giving stay tuned all right i am chris the old school picker i am a reseller that just sells stuff out of his garage and makes youtube videos so if you would if you're interested in that content please subscribe i sure would appreciate it all right sorry about that we'll get back to the regular programming in just a minute i wanted to share this with you guys i got a package in the mail and the reason this is this i cut the uh shipping label off because it had our addresses on it but this is the box if you've been following along colton and courtney of redneck resale did a giveaway a few weeks ago two or three weeks ago and our good friend over at Thrifty Lobster won the giveaway. As soon as he won the giveaway, he told them to send it to me. And I was like, no, man, you won. You take it. So they sent it to Lobster. He messaged me on Instagram. We've talked several times since then. Hey, I'm going to take what I want out of the box and I'm going to send it to you but I'm going to add some stuff to it. So Lobster got the box from Colton and Courtney Redneck Resale, took what he wanted out. He added some stuff to it. He put, he put out a video. I'll link it down below. And then he sent it to me. So I'm going to take what I want out of it. I'm going to add stuff to it and I'm going to send it to the next person. Not a hundred percent sure who I'm going to send it to, but as soon as I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. So we're going to open it up here on camera real quick. Go through it. See what's left from Colton and Courtney. And also see what Lobster added to it. And then I'll add a few things to it and send it on its way. So basically like a chain mail for resellers. So let's open it up now. All right. I'm kind of excited about this. Um, I've had it for a few days, but just now getting time to record it and to open it up so my apologies to lobster for not getting to it sooner but we're finally getting to it so i'm excited about it get it opened up real quick here maybe good job on packing looks like Let's see here. It looks like a bunch. It's definitely full. Let's see what it weighs real quick. So this weighs over four pounds, almost five pounds. So this costs because lobster's in California and of course I'm in Tennessee. So, all right, let's see here. Let's open this first one up here. Looks like a hat. So that's good. Oh, it's got a Goodwill sticker on it and the receipt. Yep, and the receipt. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that's a hockey hat. I believe that's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's Detroit Red Wings. And that's from 98. So a vintage hat. Very nice. Very nice. Two ninety nine. dollars man. That's a good price on that hat, actually. All right. So now if I take this out, I have to add an ad item. How many ever items I take out, I have to add. If I decide to keep it. Okay, I recognize these because I know from watching Lobster's video, and like I said, I'll link it in the description. These were part of the original box. These came from Colton and Courtney. That's of course Mr. T, a vintage action figure. And I guess that's just a vintage doll. If you watch my videos, though, I actually just sold one of these just a month ago, maybe two months ago. I think he sold for about 15 bucks. So, yeah, I may have to keep that. I actually had one of these when I was a kid, too. That's why he's so sentimental to me. He's from 1983. So thank you, guys. I can't believe Lobster didn't keep this. So he, he passed this along. Okay. Let's see what this is. 
Oh, snap. <laughs> That's cool, too. Wow, lobster. You loaded me up, brother. This is a vintage looking. I don't believe it's old. No, it's not old because it's got the barcode. But a vintage looking electronic football game. But still very cool. Very nice. And brand new. Okay, so that's cool. I may have to check that out. Oh, snap. It's got batteries and everything. Cool. All right. That's awesome. I believe that came from Lobster. I don't believe that was in, in the original box. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, that is something for Nintendo 64. I have no idea what transfer pack okay so I don't, I don't even know what that is but i know it's nintendo 64 so it's probably got some but oh okay this is the i believe this transfers game boy games to the nintendo 64 so that's probably got some pretty good value actually anything nintendo 64 is usually pretty decent so that's awesome Okay, so I, we got some cards and stickers from Redneck Resale, Colton and Courtney. So I'll be keeping some of these for sure. Looks like he had several, so I'll keep one of each and then send the other ones on with the package. So that's cool. Okay, this was from Colton and Courtney because I remember it in Lobster's video. It is a McDonald's scary sound effects. Sc sound effects for you to use. And I'm assuming, and it's from 1995, so it's got some age as well. I'm assuming that came in Happy Meals, I would think. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, that is, um, is that Toadstool? I believe that's Toad's, Toadstool is his name, I believe. Um, from Super Mario Brothers, a little plush. That's pretty cool. I believe this was in the box as well. I believe this come from Colton and Courtney. I know Lobster took out several things. And then, so he had to add several things to it. But I do recognize some of the stuff. Okay, here's a bag that says open last. So, <laughs> I can only imagine. We'll hold on to that. <laughs> a brand... <laughs> That's pretty cool. A brand new DVD, the ultimate edition of Dirty Dancing. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, I can't show this to my wife because this my wife loves this movie. We watch it probably every two or three months. So that's pretty funny. That's cool. Man, you've done an awesome job packing this stuff, Lobster. I'll give you that, brother. All right, okay, these are cool too. Star Wars socks um, with Stormtrooper on them. Shoe size 6 to 12. Okay, might need some socks. Have to think about that one. Oh, what the heck is that? Let's see, am I still on camera? Yeah. Okay, so there's a huge box in here. And I believe that's the last thing, yep. What the heck? Really rad robots. Okay. That's actually nice. I'm not familiar with this, but it seems to be a newer toy, I'm thinking. It's definitely not old because it has a barcode. I'm trying to see how old it is. That's pretty cool, lobster. All right, we're going to have to scan this real quick, see how much this is worth. This may be a keeper here. Really rad robots. Pull up the old eBay up real quick, and let's scan it. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, there's 61 listed for around 25 to 30 bucks plus shipping. Do they sell? Oh, snap. 73 sold. Okay. Wow, Lobster, man. You hooked me up on that. 
So they sell for about 30 plus shipping or 40 free shipping. So about, you know, 40, 30, 40 bucks. Okay, that's cool. All right, so we got, I'm going to put the stuff back in the box for now. Just so we can keep up with it. All right, whoever gets the box next, don't look for Mr. T because he's probably a keeper for sure. Everything else, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely keep three or four things and then pass the rest on and then add whatever I take out, of course. But I bet Mr. T finds a home in Tennessee. All right, there's the box. Put the cards back in there for now. I wish Lobster would have sent me a card. He may not have any. Um, so there's the box for now. And then on to the last one, Open Last. Let me see if I can find my scissors. This feels, if I had to guess, it feels like a t-shirt. And with Lobster. If you guys have not checked out Lobster or Coton and Courtney's channels, Please do so. I'll link both of them down below. Great friends of mine. All of them. Okay. So it is a t-shirt. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! I, I love OSB Larry. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my god. So I guess I'm keeping that for sure because it's personalized. Oh my god, it's even got his signature. 2020 Lobster. <laughs> That's awesome, Lobster. Oh, it's a brand new shirt too, man. That's cool. If you guys do not know, a lot of people in the reselling community call me Larry. It's a it's a new it's a nickname that I've had for quite a while. It started on Tommy Bernard's show one night. He couldn't think of my name, so he just started calling me Larry, and there's there's four or five uh, YouTubers out there that call me Larry just as a joke. So yeah, Lobster, I'm going to keep that for sure. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm wearing the shirt. That's awesome. I, I love Larry, OSP. <laughs> That's funny, man. Um, I appreciate it, Lobster. I appreciate it, Colton and Courtney, for getting this chain mail started. I'm going to go through it, pick out the stuff I want. Of course, I'm keeping the t-shirt. That will be hung up out here somewhere, I promise you. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you got me on that one, I have to admit. So thank you guys for watching this part. Uh, we'll go back to the regular programming. Make sure you check out Lobster, uh, Thrifty Lobster's channel and also Colton and Courtney of Redneck Resale. Thank you guys. I'm going to go through this, pack it back up, and send it on to the next person and in a few days i'll update you guys to let you know where i sent it and because i'm not even sure yet and um i'll link that video below too so awesome let's keep the chain mail going the chain uh, box going whatever you want to call it and uh let's go and see what i sold on this last video uh as i said in the intro i have i've got three uh Macari orders going out today. Macari was just kind of a hey, let's try it kind of thing. I've been selling on eBay for years, uh, since 2002 off and on, but started trying the Macari thing and it's paying off. Um, I sell mostly clothes on there and it's mostly mall brand type clothing. Um, so a lot of it is lower, lower dollar amount items. But keep in mind, all of these items were either out of my closet, out of my wife's closet, or gave to us by family members that were just going to donate their stuff to the Goodwill. Anyways, they know we're resellers. They're like, if you can make a dollar on it, you make a dollar on it. So, saying all that, I had three orders going out on Macari. The first one is this American Eagle shirt, uh, pink t-shirt, high-low, super soft tee, uh, a freebie it sold for nine dollars free shipping so all everything in these items is profit besides the shipping and fees so i'll make three four bucks on this the next one is nike 
Pro Dry Fit Ladies Compression Shorts. I call them booty shorts. My wife says they're not booty shorts. They're booty shorts. Uh, these sold for $13 free shipping. So I'll make probably seven, eight dollars on these. All right, the next Macari order I had was this men's large, Carhartt men's large tall t-shirt, gray t-shirt. It sold for $12 free shipping. So four Macari orders going in. I just had that one come in, so I thought I'd add it to the video. And the next one is this Life is Good women's sleep shorts, um, yellow, and these sold for $10 free shipping so i'm gonna ship these out um and i use pirate ship to sh do all my shipping on macari if you don't use pirate ship you might want to check it out it's a lot easier than the macari is shipping through the macari app in my opinion ship these out and then we'll pull the ebay orders all right i have two stores on ebay and the smaller store is called old school old school pickers media vault and I sell mainly media on there, although I do sell other things from time to time. But the first order I have going out is, oh, it's these right here in front of me. Duh. It's these blank eight tracks. And I'll be honest, when I found these, I didn't even know they made blank unrecorded uh, eight tracks. I didn't know you could record on an eight track. I didn't know that. Learn something every day. But I bought these along with some other stuff. Actually, more 8-tracks that I think I already sold at an estate sale. I paid a dollar a piece for them, which was eh, a little much. But hey, I'd never seen them before. So I thought I'll take a chance on them. Four of them. And they sold for $12.95 plus shipping. Next order I had going out is another little bundle deal that I made. It's this cassette case. I have no idea where the cassette case came from, but I picked it up for probably a dollar or something. But anytime I find these, I load them up with cassettes, because I always have cassettes lying around here, it seems like. And this is just kind of a mixture of 80s music, Cher, Culture Club, Minute Work, Fleetwood Mac, Genesis, Billy Idol, John Cougar Mellencamp, Tina Turner, Lita Ford, Duran Duran, Elton John, and Rod Stewart. So a pretty good little mixture of cassette tapes. Lod them up with the case. The case is in really, really good shape. The cassettes, meh. Some of them are good. Some of them are not so good. But I wrote that. But the bundle deal sold for $24.95 plus shipping. So a good little sale. All right, next order I had going out was some more media. And this was a DVD. I believe it's going to be... Where is it? Right there. And it's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Ultimate Edition. One of the greatest Christmas movies, greatest holiday cartoons around. I love that movie. We watch it every year. Uh, brand new, sealed. I think I picked it up for a dollar somewhere, but I can't remember where. It sold for $4.95 plus shipping. So that's my media vault sales so let's pull the main orders all right first order i had going out was some makeup it is simply powder uh, foundation from who is this by covergirl uh, if you're new to the channel i picked up two huge boxes of makeup for i had 70 cents a piece in each piece uh basically bought it from a palette store um and this one sold for 9.95 free shipping so i've done really well with the makeup it's going to cost me three three fifty to ship this i'll have another dollar or so in fees and then 70 cents in it so i'll still profit at least five bucks on this roundabout so good deal next order i have going out is an xbox game i think it's xbox 360 and it is pretty decent game you can find this game for a buck or so it's worth picking up farming 
farming simulator for the Xbox 360. This one sold for $11.95 plus shipping. Next order I had going out, and I just listed this yesterday. And as soon as I listed it, it's down here. As soon as I listed it, it sold like within a few minutes. They bought it, they paid for it, and then they canceled. <laughs> Drives me nuts. So I canceled it, refund their money, and listed it again. And within two or three more hours, it sold again. So it's going out this time. But it's this PlayStation 2 Slim. Uh, this was my personal PlayStation 2. I used it to test uh, test all my PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 games. But I got another one then the other day in a bulk lot of other stuff, a uh, uh, bulk lot of games. So I kept it because it's not as in good shape, but it works. So it's good enough for me to test games. So I thought, hey, I'll sell this one. Unfortunately, I did not have an extra set of cords. So I sold this one console only, but it still sold for $49.95 plus shipping so a good little sale and the last order i have going out today is this car right here it's from my bulk car lot uh man i've done so good on this lot and it's a 1957 chevy bel air and i believe it's from the movie american graffiti and it's in fairly decent shape and it is made by it doesn't say who who it's made by, so. But a good little sale. It is missing the um, mirror. And I think that was all it was missing. But in fairly decent shape. The buyer wrote, thanks man, this is my dad's dream car. And it was, I don't know if it's a viewer or not. Could be, so I'm going to pretend it is. But thank you so very much, Isis. If you are a viewer, I appreciate you. And I'm chasing down my horn because I give all my viewer sales a horn. So Isis, if you are a viewer, thank you very much. If you're not a viewer, thank you very much. And I hope your dad enjoys the car. Thank you again, Isis. All right, that's going to be it for this video. It's going to be a short and sweet one. I was going to do some filming of me shipping all this stuff out, but I'm kind of in a hurry today. I've got some stuff to do and I would like to do some listings i will give you a listing update momentum update uh this week has been up and down sunday i took off monday i listed 10 for 147 tuesday i took off wednesday another slow day eight for 123 but i did make a comeback yesterday thursday 29 for 511 and then today i would like to list around two or three hundred just to get to my thousand for the week I try to list $1,000 worth of inventory every week, and that kind of gets me to where I need to be in sales. We can't control our sales, but we can control how much we list. And if it's not listed, it's not going to sell. So the more you list, the better chances you have of selling. That's just how I feel about it. So yesterday was a good day, $511. That's solid for me. So if I can list around $300 today, I think I'll be at the 1000 for the week and had a very, very slow week as far as listing. I've just had so much going on right here lately. But I appreciate you guys watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell to receive all notifications for when I upload a video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Isis. I hope your dad enjoys. Old School Picker out.